Hi everyone, I'm back here moments after recording today's poem of the day for yesterday's poem of the day. Um, this, is, uh, this is a poem that I chose yesterday after a couple of digital meetings that, um, that we, we had. Um, and that it was, again, I, I consider my colleagues, my friends, I consider my colleagues giants in the uh, secondary education ELA field because they are. Um, but it's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just different, you know? The, the casual collaboration that happens in a 22 minute lunch, it, it's different on Zoom, it's different on Google Meet, it's different, it's different, it's just different. Um, and this poem popped into my head. Um, and, and I, I'd read it before, and then I, I, I was able to find it relatively easily. Um, so um, this is the poem that I'm reading for Wednesday, April uh, April fifteenth, twenty twenty. It's called. It's a poem by Kathy Park Hong, and it's called Year of the Amateur. <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, this is for you, digital distance learning. This this poem's this poem's for you, distance learning. <clears throat> Year of the Amateur. Recall the frontier when the business of memory booms, when broadbands uncoil and clouds swell with sticky portals amassing to a monsoon of live streams. Burn your chattel to keep the cloud afloat so its tears can freeze to snow. The voice flatlines in this season of pulp. The artist makes miniature churches out of drain pulp. The Indonesian rainforest is pulped. The last illuminated gold leaves are pulped. So we gather and watch an otter nom nom, sweet urchin to a pulp. We laugh softly. We're all, um, <laughs> we're all doing our best here. And um, it's hard sometimes because this is a question that I always think about um, and there are many ways to phrase it I feel like I'm always asking my students this question is this your best work without actually saying that um, and I don't um, it's not that I'm not convinced that anything that can be done right now is someone's best but one thing I'm struggling with is um, this idea of you, you know the the this is not meant to be like a woe is me. I'm, I'm struggling with, you know, like we, we so meticulously plan our curriculum um, in terms of scope and sequence to use words that, um, you know, student teachers and teacher interns and full practicum student teachers know and, and, and things like that. It, it, it's, we, 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 we plan so hard and, and being an effective teacher I, I, I hope I you know the thing that I'm always thinking about is like it needs to be meticulously rigorously planned down to the smallest detail and you also need to be ready to throw it out the window in case something else pops up um, and I know life is like that you know and it's it's hard I've spoken about the struggle to balance things recently um, and I I'm it's, it's it's tough to do when you don't have that energy um, in the classroom, you, you, you know, it's, it's tough to do when you're not getting that feedback of all sorts from students. Um, and and that, you, you know, it, the, the language of this poem spoke to me about, I feel like, a, I feel, I feel like an amateur teacher again, trying to reach out and connect those little moments that I, I normally, you know, share with with students when i'm collecting a reading check or passing something out it's just like hey you you all right we are we good you good what can i do to be helpful those moments um, take a lot longer to unspool uh, when when it's happening over over email and google classroom and i i'm going to continue checking in and, and things like that and providing enrichment activities and, and all that stuff um, I just, I just feel, I feel like I'm, I'm an amateur. I, I, I you know, um, the game, the game has just changed a little bit, and I'm, I'm struggling with that. And you know, I, it's easy to, to, 
it's easy to laugh at myself when I'm in the classroom and I can't get the speakers hooked up to the projector to work. This, it's different when the only audience is me. It do, it's not funny. <laughs> um, and it's really frustrating. And you know, this again, this is nobody's fault. Um, I'm pumped honored to keep in touch with, with my students and keep collaborating with my, my colleagues. Um, it's, I'm, <laughs> I feel like an amateur and I'm really hoping, you know, as, as the title of the poem indicates, I'm hoping that this does not last for a year um, because I don't know, I don't know how I would handle it. Not well <laughs> is, is, is probably the answer. Um, so, um, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> I'm sorry it was so terrible. Um, that's that. I guess what I'm trying to say is I miss, I miss you guys, um, which is not a surprise. Um, but yeah, year of the amateur. Um, well, thank you for tuning in to another, another edition of the Poem of the Day. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I think I have enough light. It's nice back there, huh? I think I have enough light for one one more, uh, probably before before it becomes uh, a fool's errand to uh, continue filming these re-records re 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 of the poem of the day. So, signing off. Be good to yourselves. Wash your hands. Be nice to each other. Um, and yeah, we'll see you again tomorrow for another edition of the poem of the day. Take care, everybody.